Okay, sixth grade, lesson 15. This is on problems about equal groups. So basically we're doing word problems, okay, and we're learning about equal groups. Okay, so far you've studied stories about combining, then we did stories about separating, then we did problems that had about comparing things with elapsed time as well, and now we're going to be talking about equal groups, okay? So for example, listen to this. In an auditorium, there were 15 rows of chairs with 20 chairs in each row. So, it would be like this. There are 15 rows, row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 rows, and there are 20 chairs in each row. So, it would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth. 20 of them, okay? How am I going to figure out how many all together I have? If I have 15 rows and 20 chairs in each row, how many do I have all together? 15 times 20. 15 times 20. So what we would do is take the number of rows, 15, times the number of chairs in each row. So let's do that. 20 times 15. We end up getting 300 chairs all together. Okay? That's just one of the things. Now, <clears throat> when we're filling out this, I want to show you something. Okay? There's always going to be something called the number of groups. You might want to write this down. Time times the number in each group. That's a very important word, each. Okay? Equals total. Okay, that's the, that's the equation we're working with. The number of groups times the number in each group equals the total. So, in our, um, in our equation or in the problem that we looked at just a minute ago, what would be our numbers of groups? Huh? What would be our numbers of groups when we're talking about the 20 rows with um, 15 chairs? Yeah. No, 15 rows. And 20. With 20 chairs in each. in each row. Okay, did you see a key word? 20 chairs in each row. Number in each group. So, what's going to go in this spot? The number 20, right? Yeah. Because it tells us there are 20 chairs in each number in each group. So our group are rows. So how are there how many number of rows do I have, Eli? Fifteen. Fifteen. So you see how I filled in that? Okay. Fifteen times twenty equals the total, which is three hundred. Okay? So this number of groups times the number in each group is going to be important for us to remember that that kind of equation pattern. Alright? So let's listen to the story, this next story. Okay, and help me determine what our group is and how much is in each group, okay? Buddy's Bookstore had 200, I'm just going to put the information up here, 232 biographies on eight shelves. Eight shelves had 232 biographies. If there were the same number of biographies on each shelf, how many biographies would be on each of the eight shelves? Okay? Which one am I trying to figure out the answer for? This spot, this spot, or this spot? Listen to the question. If there are the same number of biographies on each shelf, how many biographies would be on each of the eight shelves? It would be, you multiply it. Sort of. Keep thinking. So all eight shelves have 232 in them? 232 all together. Oh, that's a total. Uh-huh. So this would be our total. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Oh, uh, we do a missing number. Of yes. And which was missing? The. Listen to the question because the question tells us what's missing. 
If there are the same number of biographies on each shelf, how many biographies would be on each of the eight shelves? Each shelf. Each. This is the one that's missing. M. Missing. So, how many numbers of groups or how many numbers of shelves? Eight. Eight times M equals 232. See how we did that? Yeah. Okay. How but do we get the answer? How do we get the answer? Do you remember doing these kind of problems? Will it be M? M equals 232. Thank you. No. What's the opposite of multiplication? Subtraction? No, that's the opposite of adding. Oh, division. Division, very good. Okay. So you divide so, the two numbers. Yes, yeah, so it's like I have 232 books, and I'm going to divide them into how many shelves? Eight. Eight. So I'm dividing this... 232 into eight different shelves. You see how we did that? Yeah. So let's do that. 232 divided by 8. 8 goes into 23 uh, two times. Yes, because 16 8 times 3 is 24. That would go over. Yeah. 16, 17, 8, 9, 20, 20, 2, 3, 7. Bring down the 2. 8 times 9 is 72. So we end up getting complete. So how much does each um, each shelf have? 29. 29 books. Very good. Okay? You get it? Yep. So it's very important that you know this equation pattern so that you'll know where to put where to put the M and all those kind of things. Okay. Got it? That is lesson 15.